is here and go to education matters. Now, confusion continues to cloud the first week of junior secondary school education in public schools as the third day goes by with the majority of schools without teachers. Now, the Nyanza and western regions of the country have attained over 50% of enrollment of children in junior secondary, but like other parts of the country, the children remain untaught. Very own Brian Brenda Wanga has more details. The third day of the junior secondary school education in Kenyan public schools picked up where the first and second had left off. The books are in some of the schools, so are the children. In Nyanza, the response has been very good. As you can see, we are in Kisi, and this morning, we were at 60 percent. As the schools continue admitting the children and registering them in the NEMIS systems, those already in class are whiling away time, waiting for the formal commencement of junior secondary learning, a wait tied to the arrival of teachers here. The Kenya National Union of Teachers officials decrying the inordinately long wait for teachers. We want to ask Teacher Service Commission to consider deploying these teachers as early as yesterday so that these learners can have a new experience. Education officers in the region acknowledge the delay in deployment of teachers but insist that this should not stop those teachers in the schools from stepping in to get the learning train moving. I request the teachers continue going to class and teaching as we wait for further direction. For those children who are still at home, my appeal, you report as fast as possible. The deputy county commissioners must ensure that any child who qualifies to go to class seven and the one who is also uh, qualifies to go to form one, they find them, so they have their place in school. With Kenya National Union of Teachers officials calling for urgent action, Ministry of Education officials from the region say the wait for teachers won't be very long. The list of those teachers approved will be taken to the region. Then the region will take them to the counties for posting. In the same region, a section of private schools, although well equipped, are looking at low numbers of students enrolled as parents flock to public schools for the free education. I think it's something to do with the free primary education. And here we have told them that um, as we are not getting any um, support from the government, uh, we are going to run our own show. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV.